pmnation.com. Counterpunch Media Live in 3, 2, 1. Counterpunch Studios in Columbus, Ohio. You're listening to All Natural Being with Brian Brody on ipmnation.com. If you're not going to mortal up, why not just stay in bed? <laughs> 10, 9, 8, no, 7, not. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is not a drill. All Natural Being with Brian Brody is designed to shake your sense of self to the core. It's full contact psychology with an empowering twist, a philosophical loofah for your soul. For those of you not ready or comfortable releasing your inner superhuman, listener discretion is advised. Here's your host, Brian Brody. Good, 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 good day and welcome. You ever have one of those days where just all your tech stuff just goes haywire? Like you don't know what's good. You're like, yeah, this is what's going to happen. This is how it's going to be. Then stuff just stops working. So I don't know what that's all about, but it is fantastic to be with you for the 451st episode. 451st episode? Wow. Of the number one rated all natural being, and of course, my sidekick, the gong heard round the world. Your snooze alarms, sworn enemy. Now, just of course, it's radio that sparks your smart and broadcast that builds your strong, unleashes your legendary, if you will. But it works any time of day. Any time of day, you need to wake up. It's a great snooze alarm. Make no mistake. I believe if you're still here, you've got a legend. To let loose. That's all we're doing. And to that end, we're serving up the best thoughts in the history of thinking. So what do you say? Here's your opportunity to mortal up, to crush your can't and your critics. Because it's time. So what do you say? Let's go kick in some doors. And it was a heck of a weekend. I just want to thank everyone before we start taking our calls uh, this morning. It was an absolutely uh, just a thrilling weekend. I got to hang out, and I'm so thankful uh, to the good folks over at uh, ipmnation.com, most certainly. uh, and most certainly Matt Connerton from Matt Connerton on, and the big wig get over there at IPM Nation. And of course, Jenny, who did everything that she could or everything that she did do. I super appreciate that. And everyone that participated, uh, let me also say, everyone that participated in the IPM Nation's international block party. We're very, very excited, very thrilled that you were able to come by, stop by, and hang out with us. So thank you very, very much for that. And what I thought I would do this morning before we uh, start taking our calls, before we open up the phone lines, I'm getting a text from someone that says, hey, we're not coming out on Facebook, so I'm sorry. Yeah, that's part of the technical glitch. It says we are, but what are you going to do? Um, so, But what I thought I would do quickly is head on over. And I wanted to thank some folks over the weekend. You ready for this? On our uh, the Brian Brain Trust, we had uh, let me see here. What does it say? Oh, almost six thousand dollars all told puts us well over a third of the way to our goal. Raised by fifty two people, fifty two people in one month. And this is what was amazing to me: four hundred and sixty three shares all toll. So I want to thank everyone for that very, very much. And and I'm just, uh, I, I'm just, here's what I, I said over the weekend. Some of the people you know, some of them, you know, some you know, some you've never met before. And to, to take a part in what you're attempting to do as you get ready now in what is just six live shows left. We'll do five shows this week, one next Monday, um, and, ne- and then next Tuesday, We'll be off air, at least live. We'll be off air because I'll be heading over to the Columbus Coranium Shack and uh, Drug Hut. I'll be heading over there for my uh, uh, neuronal pedicure, let's just call it. 
Maybe a manicure and a pedicure. I, I could have said a mental manicure. That probably would have been better. And a neuronal mm-hmm. pedicure. But we'll be heading over for that uh, one week from tomorrow. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But let me just thank quickly uh, Anonymous. You know who you are. Uh, Pradeep Sangha. Ruby Sangha, thank you so very much. Joseph and Mary Haggerty, thank you so very much. Another anonymous, you know who you are. Dennis Walto, Charlie Sign, Don Ford, Derek Noel from Derek Noel Fitness, Alexander Spacek, thank you so very much. Mike from Biopro, uh, BioPro Plus, you know I take Biopro every day. BioPro Plus every day. Uh, Mike, so thank you for, uh, so very much. Gail Brandt, Nick Manali, Kathleen Dittrich, Dietrich, Dietrich or Dietrich, uh, Stephanie Cueves, uh, thank you so very much, Barth and Sarah, thank you. Amy Nelson is another person that I wanted to thank. Um, Marianne Pingator, another anonymous, again, you know who you are, Micah Kreft, Carrie Brigham, Cody Farrell, Brendan Dubles, thank you so very much. Pete West, another anonymous. Alicia Lamar, thank you. Dan DeAngelis, as always, brother, thank you very much. Tom Podgers, another anonymous, again, knowing who you are. Uh, Kay Naramatsu, thank you very much. Paul Hunnan, thank you very much. Christopher Tomer, thank you. And my good friend Joe Dominguez, thank you as well. Greg Wilson, speaking of good friends. Ian Claypool, Barbara Rust, thank you so very much. Chantel Gignac, thank you. Bob Brody, thank you very much. Super appreciate it. Leanne Benebeck, Bembenek, Bembenek, I'm sorry, Leanne, Bembenek. Uh, Tamara Bauer, thank you. Rebecca Houlihan, Mia Cutler, Tina Caldwell, thank you very much. Hillary Cooper, uh, if you see any of the pictures up on here, some of the headshots that have done, Hillary did those headshots. Thank you so very much, Hillary. Lee Rowley, also Kathy Stack, Janice Brody, Patricia Costello. That rounds out the people. And the 465, I think it was, 465 people who took the time who took the time out to share uh, my little story on Facebook. Thank you so very much. I'm, I'm really moved by, as I said, the people you know and the people that you don't know. Total strangers saying some really nice things and doing some really nice things, all for the Brian Brain Trust, um, and I super, super appreciate it. All right, so for this morning's Low Life Making Headlines, let's get to it real quick. Uh, a young lady, and you know, you think, Brian, don't pile on. Why do you got to beat up? Uh, why do you got to do that? Why, why you, uh, you know, why, now, so I'm, so I'm not going to mention her name, but I'm simply saying, and I think we've talked about this once before, your wedding day is your big day, right? If your whole sense of self is that you didn't get enough attention on your wedding day, your wedding day is supposed to be getting the attention, I would think, getting the attention from the person that you're getting ready to marry, the person that you're, uh, well, you, you don't walk down the aisle that way, but you walk down the aisle this way, right? When they finally say, oh, turn and meet, say hello to everybody and everything else, and you walk down down the aisle. Uh, my memory is that you walk down the aisle together, but you get so not so much towards the altar or towards the preacher, but away from that, right? You'd think that's the only attention you wanted. Well, I see this morning uh, a low life making headline. Here's a young a, a, a woman. I'm assuming young. I don't know, but suing a bridesmaid for thirty eight thousand dollars because the bridesmaid showed up, happened to show up at the wedding, pregnant. And everybody and their brother apparently was paying attention, uh, so the bride thinks, was paying attention to the pregnant woman and not the bride-to-be. So now she says, hey, I was upstaged at my own wedding. Upstage at my own wedding. So I'm suing you for the $38,000. So there you get our low lives making headlines. Come on, get a grip. It's, it's your day. Uh, why are you really focused on the other people and what they think and what they're doing? Unbelievable. All right, let's take a quick call. Good morning. Welcome to All Natural Being. Who's this? This is uh, uh, Bob. 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 This is Bob. Bob, that's what I love about you, brother. You're the only person I know that I can say, who is this? And you go, holy crap, who is this? Who am I, right? So I, I, I'll take this to mean that you were up a little early this morning or earlier than you know. Well, you got kids. They're getting ready to go up for school, aren't they? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I'm, uh, <laughs> Who is I'm, this? He goes, uh, wait, wait. Who is this? Well, uh, it, well, I knew my name just a minute ago. I didn't know that you were going to question me when I called. Bob, like, well, I was looking for it. I had just mentioned all the cool people. Uh, that came out this weekend in support of the IPM Nation International Block Party. You know, we were 
Well, we were supposed to be on air, Bob, for 13 hours. Then the swelling got a hold of me, and uh, we ended up, I think, being on five and breaking it up and then coming on for six or seven hours. So we didn't make the whole thing uh, due to uh, you know, some uh, medical and technical difficulties, I guess you could say. Um, but So I knew you were scheduled to call in, and I'm sorry that I we uh, had to take a little bit of a time out. But how are you, and what's going on in the beautiful city of Aurora, Illinois? Oh, my gosh. It's so Oh wow! Great. Uh, you know, this is one of the second largest cities. Always hustling. Sure. Right. And, uh, so, uh, well, the biggest thing is well, it's not necessarily a war, but it's Oswego. Um, the uh, school district uh, they failed to get the referendum. Oh. So what does that uh, mean? On, in Oswego, uh, that means a uh, billion dollars of uh, taxes is not going to go through. Oh, and the school district is quite out. So, um, so that's uh, that's probably the biggest uh, biggest thing. in, you know. Um, so what happens if they don't have the tax dollars? Where do where do all the chitlins go? Well, they just have to like, figure it out. Okay. Actually, the, the big talk is that they're going to start dwindling down sports and stuff. So the, they won't. Um, wow! Call, like. You know, mural sports. Yes, uh, it'll be. Uh, you know, they won't uh, be able to go to other other schools. It'll just be all internal stuff. So there's that much money that's spent that's, on gas for buses to get to intramural events. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess well. that's the thing they're they're pulling off and they're, they're pulling out is all that stuff. So wow. Uh, yeah. So it's. Uh, I guess it's a big, it's a long, not a guess, it is a big deal, because, yeah. you know, kids aren't going to play against, you know, Aurora or Mitchell or whatever, they're going to just have to play against themselves. Well, so, that can't be good. No, I mean, it's a, that's a pretty big, uh, big deal. I imagine. You know. I imagine. Well, I also want to mention another. I also want to mention another big deal, if I can, because you were instrumental in it. Thank you for everything that you did, uh, getting us hooked up uh, the other day over to Aurora Business United, uh, and uh, all the efforts of you and Judd and everyone else. I got a bunch of texts um, from people asking for the link to the Brian Brain Trust GoFundMe page. So I wanted to uh, remember to thank you for all your effort because I knew you stood in. in uh, you know, with with me in abstentia. Although I realize most of the stuff I do throughout the day is in abstentia, right? I'm gonna if they really get me fixed, Bob, here in a little bit, I'm gonna miss the amnesia. I'm thinking of doing a whole musical, Ode to Amnesia. Because a good bit of my day is in abstentia. People go, Did you just do that? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Right, exactly. What? What? Like calling you going, Who is this? Uh uh, let me shut the bathroom door here. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, oh, it's Bob, right? My name's Bob. See, I go through that every day. So that was a great bit, by the way. That was a great joke. Oh, <laughs> you know, it is, it is my pleasure to serve. That's the way I yeah, roll. My pleasure to serve. <laughs> and speaking of that, 451 episodes ago, you were a stand-up guy, and you launched the first ever. Can you believe it, Bob? From that storefront window in downtown oh, yeah. Aurora, Illinois. We launched the fir- the rats, although the landlord said they were raccoons. The rats fighting out front, um, you know, you know all those things. You, you know what I mean? All the- maybe they were big squirrels that were just up early. Yeah, they're, they're giant squirrels, giant right? squirrels, yeah. or like river otters. Giant, yeah, river <laughs> otters with really long, does, thin tails. Though, I, does, how does that poor thing swim? A cute little river, river otter. You know? Yeah, I mean, it river otters. Like- yeah. It sounds like a, a yeah. name for a movie or something. Exactly. Well, they're muskrats in love, right? That's what I should have gotten the theme song for muskrats in love. Because I'm like, what is that noise? Mm. It's like, man, they're just throwing down right out in front of us. So, but in any event, 451 episodes ago, Bob was there for the opening five episodes of All Natural Being, and I will forever be in your debt. So if you would catch us up here in the closing a couple minutes, how did everything go at Aurora uh, Business United last week? You know what? Everything I went really good. Uh, oh, cool. They had a couple of different presenters. Groovy. Uh, talking about uh, you know stuff, different things that are going on. And, All right. And um, one big thing, which was uh, Judy Dawson, uh, has a whole program for the with the sheriff's department Ooh. where they're trying to help uh, get uh, 
convicts' jobs. But these are like these are like white collared criminals and stuff like that. So, um, so they're not getting them any accounting jobs. They're white collar criminals, right? So they're not like getting jobs in in, in, in security or banking or employed at Arthur and Anderson stock, right? (laughs) Well, no, I don't want to say it. See, that would have been funny, but I'll only get in trouble from the good folks at Arthur Anderson. So I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Oh, I never even thought that. Right? (laughs) Okay. Uh, But uh, (laughs) you know, a couple quick things though. But you know, you mentioned the the original start off. Um, That studio is now a. a retail shop. Get out of so, here! It, yeah, yeah. So that's been that's been converted now. So that's kind of interesting. It's called Wicked Good. It's a very cool little store. It's got little like it's basically like a uh, real life version of Etsy. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So you know, you can actually go there. So that's cool. And then um, uh, you know something else. I don't know how this slipped my mind. I'm, I don't know who has the amnesia, but I, I just picked my head out. And it's April. It is. And, uh, April 15th. We got like, uh, yeah, something like that, right? right. Oh, so make sure you get your taxes up. Right. Um, we got like uh, 10 inches of snow. Get out of here. here. I swear on my mother's eyes. Can't even make it <laughs> 10 inches of snow. 10 inches of snow. We'll get the snowshoes out, the cross-country skis. Let's hit it. Uh, let me say good morning yeah. to Dana Lee. Dana Lee, I got to tell you, I don't know who your photographer is, but I see you posting some pictures, and every time I see a picture, it's it's a greater picture of you than the picture before. I just got to say that. Good morning, Dana Lee. Thank you so very much for joining us here at All Natural Being. And I got to tell you, surprise of surprise, I didn't even know we – I didn't think we had made it on air. I didn't get a notification. So, Dana, I'm, I'm looking down going, hey, wait a minute, this amnesia thing. Oh, and, and Bob, quickly, and then I got to get um, – uh, I got to get ready yeah. to run. Well, I was out in an event the other day, uh, do, a volunteer and doing a little bit of something. And uh, I get on the elevator, and as the elevator's getting ready to shut, a lady comes running up to the elevator. And I look at her, and she goes, "Oh, that's okay." So I hit the button, uh, and it's only like one floor. It drops down another floor. Well, when the door opens, she's standing right in front of me. So in my mind, I went, "Did the elevator not move?" Am I still on the second floor? Did I just imagine that I saw her? And she looks at me and says, oh, I took the stairs. But in that split second, Bob, I didn't know, (laughs) right? So my mind was like, did I hit the button? Am I still on two? Did I never really leave one? Maybe there is something to this multiverse. Maybe there really is something to this, right? No matter where you are, um, right? There's parallel universes. And I'm like, well, what universe am I in now? If they're parallel universes, what the hell? How am I? Am I still on the second floor? Am I on the first floor? What if I get right? So this is what happens in my mind. Right, so you talk about in absentia. This is what happens to me. And she goes, "Oh no, no!" She didn't know that I was having a mental meltdown in an elevator. Like I thought, "Oh man, is this another thing of amnesia again? Do I not know where I'm going?" So, all right, Bob, I got to get. It's just like, well, you know me. It's it's crazy. So, thank you very much, Bob. Thank you uh, again for everything at Aurora Business United. Thank you for posting the link. Um, and, you know, 460, I think I said 65 uh, shares yeah. over on Facebook, and we're wow. well over a third of the way there. So thank you so very oh, much awesome. for all your efforts. Uh, I super appreciate it. And for the people that have reached out and said, oh, what's the link? Uh, Bob's taking care of that for us. So, Robert, thank you very much. Thank you for helping me launch this 451 episodes. And a tip of the day, remember when it comes to shoveling that snow, uh, lift with the knees. Exactly. Yeah, lift with okay. the knees. Don't use your back. Or you just. Just just living. Oh, yeah, because it'll be sunny and eighty there tomorrow. So do what I do. I just put the car in all wheel drive. <laughs> Snow shoveling. What are you kidding me? Yeah. And my neighbor said to me the other day. They go, you know, you can get a ticket if you don't shovel. I go, how many days I got? They go, well, if you leave your snow in your driveway for more than five days, you can get a ticket. And I go, five days, Mother Nature will do the shoveling for me. So that's my advice to you. Hunker down, wait for Mother Nature to do the shoveling, and uh, and go from there. You got it. Sounds good. That's a good idea. Mother yeah. Nature. Mother Nature she, does the shoveling. And, and she sprinkles some yeah. salt, too, you know. She does a bang-up job. And people are slamming Mother Nature left and right, but she does, uh, you know what I mean? That's why I root for global warming. I think I'm done with the snow. I really, I've never been a good skier anyways. All right, Robert, thank you so very much for joining us. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon, brother. Good morning.
morning, B. All right, take care, brother. Bye now. All right, Bob Lockwood with me for the first ever episode. And I'm so excited to see that we made it out because I didn't think we did make it out to Facebook. So we'll jump over to Thread. Good morning, Dana. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you so very much, as always. And here's the thing. I wouldn't do this to you, but I'm getting this little prompt, Dana, you should know, a little prompt that says, ooh, bring them on camera. How would that work? I don't even know what I see you in. So we have to practice that sometimes since people are going, well, let me be the judge whether her picture is better than the picture before. Um, and I go, oh, trust me, it is. This last one, very, very, very. Oh, and I need, how's Gabriel doing after? I think you said he's celebrating another big birthday. Um, so I wonder how he's doing. Please give him a shout out. And say uh, hello for us. Oh, oh, well, there you go. Thank you, Bob. All right, so getting back quickly to our low lives making headlines, and, and, and I don't want to harp on this, but really, if, if you're worried about the attention that's paid to everyone else and not you, time for a mind-up, right? Time for a 20-minute victory. Time for, you know what I'm saying? It's time to, to, to just readjust a little bit because I don't see the benefit. And, I'm, and, and through all this, now I know you're thinking, oh, Brian, it's just more of your toxic masculinity. Yeah, I know, right? But I... I take two shots of it if I could right about now. But your toxic masculinity, my heart goes out to the the groom. Can you imagine? Here's a groom, and the bride is standing there going over in the vows, and you know on the inside she's seething because a bridesmaid dared to show up pregnant. Now, I know you're all saying, hey, they make spanks for this, right? They make uh, the ability, right? But how, how many pairs of spanks would you have to wear to hide the fact that you're eight months pregnant? I mean, how many? Even more importantly, right? Maybe you take some saran wrap. Some of the other bridesmaids could be running around doing that kind of thing. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not certain. Good morning. Welcome to All Natural Being. We're talking this morning, Lola's making headlines. We're talking about a bride that's upset because she feels upstaged by a pregnant bridesmaid, and she's now suing her for $38,000 to recoup, uh, you know, the hors d'oeuvre tray, the cheese tray, the cracker, whatever it is they serve for dinner. Uh, Who's calling? This is Derek Noel from Derek Noel Fitness. Derek Noel from Derek Noel Fitness. Nice to see you. Hey, listen, I was really, I have to tell you, and and we're running a little behind, and I'm sorry for that, uh, but thank you for calling in a little later this morning. The, just just it, it, tell me this. I know you have something to talk about, but would you mind if we didn't talk about that today? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, here's the thing. How, just how do you do it? Is there, is, is like your chair spring-loaded? Or is Are you talking like, about that jump? Oh, my good God, you're Superman. And you said to me, oh, not really, because you don't wear a cape. And and <laughs> look, I know you. You're the last person that that needs to be running around in red uh, spandex tights, right, or blue, whatever color Superman's wear. I get that, but how do you do that? Well, when you weigh 80 pounds more, you get used to being that heavy. Then all of a sudden when you drop 60 pounds, everything becomes really easy. In terms of <laughs> You're such a good guy. It has nothing to do with gravity, jackass. You have to have a strength that's just <laughs> unbelievable to me. Derek's like, well, I really owe it to my fat loss. I really owe it to this. It's not. No, that's not true. Don't listen to him. Ignore everything he said. It's you must have a muscular strength, right? I mean, how many how many plates are stacked up on a chair? Like, okay, let me ask you this. How many feet in, in, in the air? And Dana Lee says it's unreal. You're absolutely right. Uh, Marcellus, let me say good morning. Jim, let me say good morning to you as well. Um, I, 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 how many, how tall are those plates stacked on that chair that you just jump up to and nail? Uh, I think that was a 46-inch box jump. Unbelievable. So almost four feet unbelievable but i mean it is different because i technically your body works in a certain way that makes it advantageous to start from that seated position okay so i'm not entirely sure i'd be able to make that jump just from standing uh but really? you also have the advantage of the uh yeah i might have to test that out and find out um well, wait a yeah, minute. If you're standing, your yeah, but if you're standing, you would like drop back into a squat position to launch. If that's what you're saying, um, I wouldn't really do a squat. A lot of people actually don't. So there's a technique to jumping too that a lot of people don't get. They think you just like jump straight up into the air. All right. Uh, but you actually simulate. Um, and I know you know how these work. Uh, if you simulate a kettlebell swing, right? So you hinge at the hips instead of squatting. 
uh, all a jump, all a good jump really is is a an ex, is a super explosive hip hinge basically. Well, don't ruin my good. view of you being Superman now by giving all the techniques <laughs> away. But no, I'm telling you that should be the video. Talk to whoever's doing that uh, for you. That should be the video everywhere of you because I look at that and I go, in this day and age, for me and everything going on. I'm lucky if I can stand up off a chair and nail the landing without tipping over and falling to one side. Every time I see that video, I'm like, wow, that is amazing. All right, so uh, enough about that. I want people to be able to make sure that they can get a hold of you. Um, and I'm teasing you. What would you like to talk about this morning in the few minutes we have left? Uh, what was the what was the thing that we could do? Because Derek Noel from Derek Noel Fitness. Oh, let me do this. You know what? I should have been putting this up. I'm sorry, Derek. Derek Noel of Derek Noel Fitness is with us every Monday morning to give us a little tip uh, and but if you haven't seen the video, you've got to see this thing. And maybe uh, at some time this morning, Wayne, if you're listening, uh, if you can put a link to that video over in the thread for the people that haven't seen it. Let me say hello to Carrie Ann uh, and to Jim. Thank you very much. Great to see you and hear you better uh, than the best man showing up pregnant in today's world. <laughs> it could happen. Okay. <laughs> and Danielle says that's discrimination. So, Dana, can, can you comment? Because I would love to get a woman's opinion of it, right? Maybe it's just me, the guy going, I'm so into the woman I'm marrying. You people can show up in kilts for all I care. So maybe a, a, a little on the side there. But, Derek, what's your point for the or your tip for this week for people? Uh, the tip of the week this week is to try and figure out if when you're hungry, yeah. if you are emotionally hungry, so if you're hungry in an emotional sense right. or a mental sense right. versus being physically hungry. Uh, and Ooh. it's a nice little segue um, because I actually talked about this on my sh- on my show last night. Groovy. How'd it go uh, last night? I went, uh, it went pretty well. Great. Dude. I mean, I had to make a couple little fixes uh, post-production, but... Okay. Um, it went pretty well. We talked about uh, literally like I was calling it pre-nutrition 101. So the things that you can do before you even worry about getting into like actual full-on nutritional programs All right. and diets and stuff like that. So just small things that you could make, uh, small changes that you can make in what you're currently doing uh, to start to see those results. Very uh, cool. The entire concept being like small changes, big results. Well, I would imagine that's true. Yeah. So, like I was saying, figuring out, and it goes a little bit more in depth, but figuring yeah. out if you are physically hungry. So, if you have, like, if your stomach is literally empty or you're getting lightheaded, uh, or it's a gradual, like, oh man, I'm really starting to get hungry now. All right. uh, that is a sign of physical hunger. Or if you are all of a sudden craving something, or you just want to stuff your face until you can't move anymore. Uh, oh. until you need until you need your fat pants uh, <laughs> that's more of the I like to call them sweatpants I, I like to call them sweatpants <laughs> which is odd because when <laughs> I put my fat pants on there's no sweating you know what I mean there's no sweating going no, on no there is sweating it's, it, it's just the meat sweat right, exactly alright Derek how can people get a hold of you quickly brother uh, they can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Noel. Uh, they can go there to see that jump video Ooh, uh, which I think awareness. we can post more of that stuff. I would. Because uh, I got a really good response, so why not? <sighs> and uh, they can find me on Instagram at the Derek Noel. Uh, they can find me on IPM Nation at ipmnation.com slash counterpunch. Yep. Because we both top ten. the same group. Top 10 show, um, by the way, don't forget to mention. Top 10 show. For, yeah. I believe it was number six last week. Fantastic. Um, and you can find me in podcast form on Tuesdays wherever you listen to podcasts. Fantastic. And remember, next Halloween, I think you do the whole Superman thing. Start off in a suit, take off your, look at the camera, take off your glasses. And then when a camera cuts back, you're in a super, you're in a Superman outfit, and then you jump on those boxes. Cause every, I'm just impressed. You have to be very uh, proud of your abilities and everything that you've done. I see those videos and I'm just blown away. All right, everyone, Derek from Derek Noel Fitness. He'll be back. Oh, and he'll be my final guest next week. We'll do a Monday show. He'll be my final guest before we head over to the Columbus Cranium Shack and Needle Emporium. Derek, thank you so very much for joining us and uh, I'll let you get back to work. All right. Thank you very much, Brent. All right, brother. See you soon. All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here because I lost track of the time. Oh, great guess that just happens. So we will be back bright and early. God willing, we will be back bright and, and, and minus any swelling, I'm hoping, uh, a bright and early tomorrow morning. So please stop by. And uh, thank you for putting... 
been listening to All Natural Being with Brian Brody. Join us live every Monday through Friday, 7 to 8 a.m. Eastern. Also, check us out around the clock at allnaturalbeing.com. Until then, always remember to bring your own bold. Isn't that just the case? When we're getting ready to sign off air, I get the little signal going, oh, you're broadcasting just fine. <laughs> I'm telling you, Irish. IPMNation.com. 